as they captioned the video, Daddy Daddy at Antawil. Happy birthday, sir. More life, more money, more stars, more wisdom, sir. Actor Antalanio has once said that his mother carried his pregnancy that produced him for 18 months due to spiritual manipulation. The actor who was recently nominated as one of the best four actors in Africa, as he said, he would have become a soldier. Actor Antalanio was known by many Nigerians for his acting prowess, but not many know his history. As he was asked in an interview that could he tell us a bit of himself, he said, I am from Oshogbo in Ocean State. The name Anta is Yoruba. It has to do with the story of my birth. That is why it's unique. That's why you hardly can or you may not find another person bearing that name. So it has to do with the story of my birth. I overstayed in my mother's womb. I stayed 18 months. At that time, there was this fear that my mother would die with the baby in her womb. So she had to run all over the place to seek help. During her sojourn, she met a great herbalist that revealed what was the cause of the abnormal delay. The actor further said, she found out that someone was behind it. An animal called iguana, which is a wo or anta in Yoruba, had to be used. It's bigger than lizard. It was added to some salt and a concussion was made for my mother to take. A few hours after she took it, she went into labor. On her way to the hospital, I came home. She didn't therefore see anything wrong in naming me after the animal. Is there any other name she calls you apart from that? She calls me Babatunde and others, but she prefers that name to others. She preferred it. She said that as far as she was concerned, she is Anta. Asking when did he start acting? He said he, the, his earlier stage acting was in 1976. It's a long time now. However, I became a professional under Ben Tomoloju in 1980, June 18, precisely. It's about 31 years today, and I'm not 50 yet. Haxin, that means you started when you were just a boy. And he replied, yes, I started early. My parents are dead now. My dad was enthusiastic about my acting career. That he was nicknamed me Anta the Shongo. On seeing my picture as Shongo in a stage play, he even took the picture to his office. I just showed him the picture and he collected it. I didn't know that he would take it to the office. You know, he was so proud of me that he wanted everybody to see it. There was no television to show a performance then. My daddy was an educationist. He was working with the Ministry of Education. So he just took it to the office. When he returned it, he had written Anta de Shongo. Yeah, he wrote it there. Accent, can you remember the first payment as an actor? He said, I can remember. In any case, I remember RMD. Richard Mifeta Mijo asking where we were going to earn our first 1,000 naira. I remember that we were under the tree at the National Art Theatre discussing and wondering when we were going to earn our first 1,000 naira. There was no money then, nobody was paying. We would pay you that time, we would pay you that time. Nobody was paying anybody. Around 1976, I was less than 15. I was a small boy. I was a small boy running away from home to help people carry props. In production stage, I used to abandon my mother's wears to help them carry drums. Could you tell us about your growing up? He says, I started very early in life, as I said earlier. I started when I didn't know where I was going. At that time, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just saw myself around the Jora attending rehearsals with some elderly people. That was around 1976 or so. I was very small. I was a small boy. Just one young boy moving around with other people. I was helping them to pack their stage props. Some of the things were local drums like gong gong, their gongs and shekere among others. They were also sending me on errands. I just saw myself following them all over the place. I was in my lower class in secondary school. And while I was in secondary school, I didn't see anything wrong in joining dramatic class because primarily 
I had thought that after my secondary school, I would join the army. That was what I wanted to do. I loved the military. I still love it. When he was asked, in many of the films, we have noticed errors in English subtitle, which is common and therefore making the industry lose respect. What are you doing about what are you doing about it? A respond. Actually, there are people specially hired to do the subtitle. But I think it is high time we looked into it because people have been complaining. That means we have to screen it before it is released to the public. It is truly giving us bad image. However, if you have any stupid thing as far as subtitling is concerned, blame ANTP people, not that individual who has made that film. I think the case of the leadership is still in court and once they can get it done, once they can get that thing out of the way and there is a government in place, I believe things will change. What do you think is the lasting solution to the challenges of privacy among others facing the industry? We cannot have a lasting solution unless the government is a part of the production itself. Once they start giving us money, they would police it because they don't want to lose to. If you are from the Ministry of Arts and Culture and your ministry gave me money to produce my film, you will monitor that production from casting to selling. Now that they don't have anything at stake, government doesn't care. If the government is involved in funding, they will fight privacy. What is your happiest moment in life? My happiest moments are so many. Anytime I win an award, I am happy because then I say to myself, Hunter, you are not wrong to come into this industry. Anytime you give me an award and I stand to say thank you before a crowd of admirers, I am so happy. These days, I don't cry unlike before. In the past, anytime I win an award, I will cry to thank God. I have not made a wrong choice. Maybe if I had been in the army, I would have been involved in cope and <laughs> he laughs. Have you ever been close to death? I can never forget the day I almost eat a nursing mother with a baby in the streets of Lagos. It was a very terrible day. My car was a write off after the accident. I thank God I did, I did not eat the woman. She had crossed the road without properly looking sideways. You know, it would have been a nightmare for the rest of my life if I had hit the woman with her baby. Even after I had found out that the woman and her baby were safe, it took me almost one hour to recover from the shock of almost eating them. Whenever I remember this, I shiver. So today we want to say congratulations and happy birthday to the popular actor and Talani. God bless you. Continue to soar high. From here, love, peace and light.